Hey everyone, welcome to Jira for Beginners Training and in this video I am going to cover the important bit about how you are going to navigate around Jira, some of the important main bar and project sidebar information that I'll cover. So you are, as a user, you are able to understand how you are going to use Jira in your project. So at the top here you see this is the main navigation bar of Jira. Okay, so you see the your, your work project filter, dashboard, teams, etc. This is the main navigation bar and whatever you see here at the moment, right? So it depends on the zoom basically, you will see that automatically it will adjust the options that are listed here and these options might be different for from project to project or company to company okay so basically in your organization there might be few more apps that could be added here and main, in main navigation bar you could see something different but mostly your work projects filter dashboard teams apps etc these are the standard one that you'll see there now there is another bar uh, or navigation bar the project navigation bar so basically if i say for example select a project you will see in the left hand side the project navigation bar appears let me zoom in so here you will see this is the project navigation bar and below in the project navigation bar you have certain options that i'll cover briefly okay so let's quickly cover main navigation bar first and then i'll cover the options in the project navigation bar okay so here in the left hand side you this is the app switcher so basically you can switch different apps by clicking on this particular icon here so i can go ahead and see what all apps are there available this list might not be absolutely similar for you but overall this is how you are going to switch the apps accordingly now the next option how you are going to see what all work you are assigned to you go to the your work and you will see assigned to me is what all will be assigned to you in jira okay then recent is what all recent issues or boards or whatever you have recently visited as a user and then in the boards you will see the recent boards and then below you will see the view all boards now in the project section you will see here you will see all the project options that are there view all project will list all the projects and create project if you have a create project permission basically then you will have the create project visible as well now mo many things depend on the permission and roles that you have as an end user of jira you might not be seeing what i am seeing because i am the jira administrator as well so i will see more options but as an end user you should be able to correlate things very easily now coming to filters you will see all the filters basically wherein say you want to filter out the issues you want to write the basic search query or advanced search query you will see all those filters in the view all issues or view all filters you will it will list all the issues in a particular project or view all filters will list all the filters that are there available okay in the dashboard it will list out all the dashboards that are there you can go ahead and create the dashboard if you have the create dashboard permission now moving to the more options you have the teams and apps wherein apps is more you can explore more marketplace apps and add those and this is not for an, a user mostly you will see what all apps would have been added you will be able to see those into the app section for your organization this create button is about creating the issues within jira so depending on the issue type the project you can go ahead and click on create button which you will be doing most of the time or issues will be created and assigned to you and you will be working on those issues okay now if you are a part of the software development team you will be having create issues permission to create the issue and mostly most of of the domain and organization uh, and domain and projects you will be having the create issue permission for sure because it doesn't matter which team you are working with which domain hr finance software development you will be creating the issues in a project for example employee onboarding right so as an hr executive you will be onboarding a particular employee so what all activities are involved in the employee onboarding so that you'll be going ahead and creating all the issue types or tasks against that employee onboarding activities right and then once it's closed basically that means those tasks are completed and employee will be onboarded right so that's the create part now, now the next thing here you'll see upgrade because i'm on the free plan of the jira then search is for searching quick search basically so i'll go ahead and search jira based on what all i can search for boards and projects etc so and also the issues right so this is a quick search bar but i'll cover search in more detail basic search and advanced search but on a brief or a quick search is this particular search at the top now in the right hand side you will see notifications right so any notifications that are available then you have the help available settings and then your profile settings so if you go to your profile you you can go ahead and see what all profile settings are there and i'll cover in detail about the profile setting now coming 
back to the left hand side which is basically the project navigation so here based on the project you will see all the project options or the project navigation options so for example i'm in the project this is the project name what type of project it is in the bottom you will see whether it's team managed or the company managed project so let me switch to the company managed project and show you the difference so here you will see that this is the company managed and then below planning you will see that you have the planning option and this this whole thing this whole navigation bar keeps changing because Jira keeps implementing new feature moving few options here and there so there might be a little change it won't be a major change as such until unless it is absolute complete revamping of the UI otherwise most more or less it will be same but depending on the features and type of project these options might differ in the main navigation bar and in the project navigation bar as well so you'll see that below planning you will have all the things related to the project for example in the timeline you will be able to see what all issues are there in the timeline way basically in the timeline uh, what all issues are there where exactly you are at the moment you can have a look at the, on in the weekly or monthly or quarterly basis so depending on the option depending on the issues that are there at the moment there are no issues so you can't see anything but overall if the epic and stories are created depending on the start and finish you will be able to see what all issues are there and then what is their end date whether we are on track or not right so this is basically the the timeline view of the issues now below that you will see the backlog when when you say backlog backlog is all the work items that need to be completed for a project for for saying the project is completed right so all the issues that need to be completed as part of that particular project will be listed in the backlog okay active sprints this is because this is a software or scrum projects this is a this is for software development so you will see active sprints as well if you are having kanban you might not see active sprints in there so if i go to the kanban project in the project sidebar you will see i have the timeline then i straight away have the board because kanban is for a kanban project or Kanban board is for the work items that are in the continuous flow right and when we say software development or scrum it is more of a iteration based fixed time frame you have to deliver something so you have a product backlog and then from there you pick what you can complete in two weeks that's how software development usually in agile works so you pick that those work items in two weeks you deliver and that's why you see a, see it a little different you see sprints active sprints etc and based on the sprint whatever you have picked up in the sprints you your team will go ahead and complete that so that's why you're seeing active sprints in here then you have this calendar available in the scrum project right and in the kanban project it, it might be a little different right you have the calendar in kanban as well but not necessarily every option that you see in here for a kanban project will be listed in other type of projects as well okay so maybe for hr you will see a different list but the important bit is you go ahead and understand that this is the project navigation bar wherein you will be able to figure out details about the project okay Okay, so now this is about the planning. Okay, and then you can go ahead and below you'll see that you have the add view and accordingly you can enable and disable the view option. For example, you know, I can add the backlog, enable the backlog and the backlog will be visible under the planning as well for Kanban project. Okay, now moving below, you will see the development, right? So this is more for the any development, if any development activities are involved anything you want to integrate Jira with the code repos for example git gitlab bitbucket etc github then you can go ahead and see all those options in here then you have these project settings project pages etc so this is basically how the project sidebar will look like and how you are going to navigate within Jira in the project as well as from the main navigation bar okay so briefly that's what i wanted to cover so you if you are absolute beginner you know how you are going to start your journey in using jira within your projects okay so that's all for this video in the next video i'll cover more details about some of the more features within jira for you as a thank you see you in the next one